Hey, what's up, you guys? It's me, ODRK, the overview, back again with another video. And Cobra Kai has released their, I wouldn't say final, but first of three parts, or should I say, let's say season six, part one with their trailer. Let's say Cobra Kai is almost done, but let's say Netflix wanted to do a thing where it's, okay, we're done, but we're not really done. We got like three parts of this final season, five episodes in each. And also the fact that Cobra Kai, for what it is, it's a good show and one of the better sequel reboot thingies. Not more of a reboot, but more of like a continuation of a legacy property. And I'm kind of funny in the fact that, okay, so this is the one that actually latched on as long as it did. Not only the fact that, okay, you can't repeat the same formula at least three times, but at least try expanding the story, exploring the characters, and also the fact that you're bringing old school characters not only just for cameos, but at least each of them play a significant role in every season. Like, it's not only a thing where Danny and um, Johnny are the only ones that are like, okay, we're the main characters, but there are still other characters within the Karate Kid lore that we could bring back, but they don't exploit them just for, okay, we need you because you were in the previous movies. Each of them have a reason being there, and now going into the final season scene is that, okay, everything has led to this, and wondering going into this new season, okay, is it going to be over the top? Maybe. Is there going to be a little bit of jumping the shark? Last season kind of did that, but hopefully with this new season, there can be a lot more that can be introduced now they're going into the Saikai Taikai, the World Karate Tournament. Hopefully there's a lot of things they could try to answer with that because I'm going to just save that for the second part. Because going into this, I'm like, okay, final season. We're not going to see everything from the whole season. So we're going to see everything from the beginning arc. So I'm saying so a lot. I just want to get to the trailer at this point because I'm kind of excited for it. All right, guys, let's go. to get to this point but now we're finally on the same page we may have settled things in the valley but now we have to be ready for whatever the world throws at us working together side by side yep the Saikai Taikai tournament is coming now is not the time to push out you're gonna fight the best in the world. Do I want to know what that's for? Training, Rocky Four style, gonna chop down a tree carried through the snow. And what could possibly go wrong? Yeah! No matter what life throws at you, you gotta stay on your feet. <laughs> Our strength is we teach both styles equally. Don't jeopardize that balance, man. Since when do I run shit by you? Since we have no idea what we're up against. Only through pain does the champion reveal himself. Yes, sensei. Looks like Kreese is working with um be Terry's crew. Be the best in the world. Just means I'm gonna have to be Rocky again. I thought you were Miyagi Do now. You think things are better because now I'm training in your dad's backyard. So it looks like you're getting a bit of that tension. Don't you know I know karate? What's that? Miyagi-san buried secrets for a reason. If we open, anything is possible. From what it's worth, I think like this certain trailer, or should I say part one of this trailer, doesn't show too much. Yeah, we're going to see a little bit more tension with Danny and Johnny again. Hopefully, they're going to try to at least fix it this season, knowing that this is their last shot. We see a little bit of tension seeing that how Sam and Tori aren't at odds with each other. Like, they're not cool, even though the fact that last season, Tori was in a bit of a rut because she was at least trying to help everybody in Cobra Kai, and at least trying to inform Sam and the guys about everything that's been going on there. But more of the fact that Kreese escaped prison and now that he's working with Terry's crew and that other Mortal Kombat looking sensei because there's a lot I can talk about the season five, but I feel like as I'm looking at the trailers and everything like that, I might as well just try and review or rewatch Cobra Kai in preparation for this 
because I know that Cobra Kai has been a show I've been stuck around since YouTube days, like with since it started out on YouTube Red, and since it moved to Netflix, I feel like okay, everything about the show is like, yep, pick me up. Anytime I'm feeling down, anytime I feel like nah, there's nothing to watch, I'm like, you know what? I need Cobra Kai for the pick me up. And for what it's worth, it's not too bad. It's just gonna be five episodes. I know Netflix is gonna be hoeing this down for a while, doing part one and part twos of series. And for Cobra Kai specifically, I don't even know if it was supposed to be around 15 episodes or the fact that the writer strike held this so like that they couldn't do exactly 10 and they felt like, you know what? If we're gonna finish this off with a bang, we're gonna do a couple more. Couple more episodes aside. Yes, we look like we're going to the Psychai tournament. One thing I wonder because if you don't know at this point, and I feel like everybody might as well know it, I feel like, is that Cobra Kai Season 6 is not the end of the whole Karate Kid story. Yeah, it's going to finish off Johnny and Daniel's arc. But in 2025, or what I thought was going to be um, the end of this year, they announced a new Karate Kid movie that's going to take place in New York, where, quote-unquote, Daniel LaRusso and Mr. Han from the 2010 Karate Kid are actually going to be joining forces and train the new Karate Kid, which... I'm like, wait a minute, huh? So the original and the remake are crossing over at some point, and I feel like, okay, the Sakai tournament is going to introduce a couple new fighters we haven't seen throughout the world yet. And one might hope, since, you know, Will Smith is producing this show, that Dre might come back. Who knows? He Maybe he will, maybe he won't, because I know they always wanted to do a sequel to the 2010 remake, but this feels like the right opportunity to at least try and bring it in. And also bring back... Um, the girl from the next Karate Kid, because I feel like if they're gonna actually try and bring this whole thing to a close, and yes, they're gonna try and introduce Mr. Han in this move in this season, maybe, maybe not. I don't know if they will introduce him or later on as the show ends and once we get into the movie, we're gonna see those two characters cross over. If there's a way they can try to finish out the Cobra Kai story but not include too many crossovers or at least too many cameos this season, that'd be fine because I feel like. Okay, the focus here is just the tournament. We're going into the tournament. We're going to get a little bit of tension between team members, seeing as out Sam and Tori have beef. We're going to see Miguel and Robbie do their old thing against us. They're going to be going up against each other and actually practice. Who knows if some old enemies might turn out good, but if not, we're in for a kick-ass season, and I can't wait for it. All right, you guys, thank you guys for watching. Leave a like, subscribe if you haven't already. All my social media is down in the description below, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye, guys.